the opening happened, we all know about it. And then there's this really somber moment. You know, it's a couple of days later and you're just kind of like, yeah, dad's dead. Keep friends, those you love, close to you. I'm not just playing a game, I'm playing this dude's life, and like, his life actually matters to me. There was something about it that struck me, right from the get-go, just how it felt, how it paced, and how much of, of a second life it felt to me. It honestly is a part of me, that's how it is to me. The fact that the fans have kept the series alive this long is just kind of a testament to how special those games are. The fact that people are still so passionate about it after 15 years, that's a big deal. We never saw a game that was just that narrative driven. This game was kind of special. I remember that moment in 2 when you just go to Hong Kong and suddenly the world just gets bigger. You have a cinematic sequence that you can actually manipulate, that you can actually play. They kept telling me, no, we want her to be a little bit more flat. She doesn't have emotion. They would have a list of all the different damage you would have. And it would be like small damage, which would be like, ugh. And then medium damage, which is, ugh. And bad damage, which is, ugh. So that's the big change going from the death of arcades to a console-driven graphical future, which was way better than arcades. Brian. Who's the zombie? Uh. Send me on Dreamcast, made T for team. Sega! The PlayStation 2 and the Dreamcast really fought it out for a matter of months before Sega basically had to pull the plug. They ended up getting Shemu on the Xbox, which was great, but um, it kind of got buried after that. Shemu just disappeared for like 14 years. And there's been so many sites talking about it that it's coming back, and everybody's like, this E3, it's coming back. And I heard a rumor that the Tokyo Game Show, it's coming back, and it never did. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Yu Suzuki. To see something like that is like seeing an old friend that you thought was dead. If there's any time for a game like that to come out and to really be groundbreaking, it's now. There's always an interest in people's minds, and it's not just the fans, but it's the people who made it as well. The fate of Shenmue is in your hands now. 